Hello, good evening. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Um, very good. Thank oh, you. That is excellent. Good to know. How was your day today? Abel, how was your day? Sorry. How was your day today? I I I only working. Ah, it was fine. Domestic. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry because yesterday I didn't attend to the class because I uh, I had an emergency. Okay, don't don't, don't worry about that. So okay, hello, Tomara. Hello, Jose Blanco. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? Um, I'm fine. Mm, that is excellent. Thank that you. Great. And how was your day, Jose? I'm sorry? How was your day today? Was it great? Was it excellent? Was it so busy? Um, uh, it was excellent. Yeah. Oh, do you have a great day today? Yep. Okay, that is very good. So, what about you, Samara? Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Hi, Samara. Are you there? Okay, I guess she is busy at this moment. Hello, Jose Daniel. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, fine, pretty good. And you? I'm excellent. Thanks for asking me. So let's start with today's class, right? In yesterday's class, we were studying four questions, right? And we were studying the question, how often do you? How well do you? How long do you? And also, how good are you at? So we were studying question with the word how, whom. So for the first question, how often do you play soccer, Jose Daniel? Uh, I usually uh, play soccer. Okay, that is excellent. And what about you, Abel? How often do you play basketball? I sometimes play basketball. Okay, that is excellent. Now, how long do you play soccer, Jose Daniel? How long? For almost one hour. Okay, that is a great answer. Thank you. One hour. And what about you, Abel? How often? Uh, sorry, how long do you play basket? Uh, okay, about how how much time did you say? 30 minutes, did you say? No, 15. Ah, okay, and now the question is for both of you. How good are you at playing soccer, Jose Daniel? Can you repeat, please? How good are you at playing soccer? The meaning is, ¿qué tan bueno? Uh, yes, that is the meaning. Okay. Uh, I think, <laughs> I think soccer very well. Okay, is oh. it? Good, very good. Uh, very good, good. sorry. Or oh, more okay. or less. Okay, that is great, right? So we have three options to answer this question. Very good, or oh, pretty good, okay. And sería el intermedio, okay. Y no so good era la otra opción que teníamos. No so good. Okay, sorry. Teacher, yeah, don't worry. Yesterday I didn't enter to the, the class. class. 
Ah, okay, um, I can see that. But thank you for being here with us today. Thank you so much. Um, so the one last question was, how well, how well do you play basketball, Abel? How well do you play basketball? Okay. Uh, okay, for a how well, we have three options to, to answer pretty well, about average, uh -huh. and the last one was not so well, right? But very good answer, thank you so much. Hello, Ana Gabriela, hello, Aida Marisol, welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, how are you tonight? That's okay. Ah, you're okay. That is very excellent. And Ana Gabriela, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you? Okay, so let's start with this. We're going to solve the following exercises about the four questions that we were studying yesterday. Can you help me please to answer these? If you have already completed this on the platform, that is pretty good. So let's start with this. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you already see it? Sorry, teacher. I have problems with my internet. Okay, and I understand. Don't worry. Um, so let's see. We're going to solve the following exercise, which is 1.11. And it has to do with the four equations that we studied last class. So let's see the instruction. Complete the following equations. Guide yourself with the answer. Choose from how often, how well, how good, and how long. So let's start with the first one. At volleyball, I guess I am pretty good. I often play on weekends. So what is the answer? What is the question that I need? How often, how well, how good, or how long in the first one? Anyone want to answer the first, the first exercise for today? Anybody? What question do I need with the word how, how often, how well, how good, or how long? How well? Oh, you say how well? How well do you do? How well do you do? But I have a volleyball in this part. Look at this. Oh, okay. I guess I'm pretty good. I often play on weekends. So if the answer is pretty good, what was the question? How good? Okay, the question was, how good are you at volleyball? That is the question, thank you. How good are you at volleyball? And the answer says, I guess I'm pretty good. I often play on weekends. The second one, spend online. And the answer is about an hour after dinner. I like to chat with my friends. So- How long? The question, how it has to do with time, right? With a period of time that I need in this part, how long do you, how long do you spend online? Thank you so much. Let's see the next one, number three, play cards. Once or twice a month, it's a good way to relax. How often? Okay, how that's often? right. How often do you, how often do you play cards? And finally, number four, type. And the answer is not very well, actually. I need to take a typing class. So what was the question? How oh, well. In this case, you are right. We are going to how well. But how well, how well can you? So let's click on check it. And that is the answer in this part. How well can you type? And the answer was not very well. Actually, I need to take a typing class. So let's practice in this small conversation, right? So we have a question and answer in this. Uh, Jose Daniel, can you please read the question? And Maria Magdalena, can you please read the answers? Uh, the, average, 
the everything or the number all one? Of, all of them, please. All of them. Let's practice all of them. Okay. Um, how, good, how good are you at volleyball? I guess I'm pretty good. I often play on weekends. Uh, how long do you spend online? About an hour after dinner. I like to chat with my friends. How often, how often uh, do you play cards? Once or twice a month. It's a good way to relax. How well can you type? Not very well, actually. I need to take ta a typing class. Wow, that was excellent. Very good job. Thank you so much for your help in this activity. So anybody wants to try Aida Marisol? Can you please? Aida and let's see, Ana Gabriela, can you help me please? Aida, you are going to read the equation and Ana Gabriela, you are going to read the answers. Okay. Okay. How good are you at volleyball? Sorry. Is this part B? Sorry, sorry. I guess I pretty good. I often play in weekend. Next one. How long do you spend online? About an hour after dinner, I like to chat with my friends. How often do you play cards? One or twice a month is a good way to relax. How well can you type? Not very well. Actually, I need to take a typing class. Okay, excellent. Thank you for your help. That was an excellent job in this part. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. Thank you very much. So do you have any question about this topic? Do you have any question how to use this for equation? Any doubts in this part? No question about this topic? This is your chance. This is the opportunity. No questions? Okay, let's practice then. I'm going to ask uh, two questions to everyone, okay? Um, are you ready? So let's start with any volunteer to start. Who wants to start? Anybody wants, any volunteer? So let's practice. Just two questions. Solo dos preguntitas and we are done in this activity. Any volunteer? What other okay. question? Ah, okay, first question. How often do you wash your car? Um, I always, I always uh, wash my car. Okay, that is excellent. Second question. Uh, how good are you at volleyball? Uh, I guess I I very very good. Play volleyball, play volleyball. Okay, that is excellent. So, can you see very easy questions? Let's go with Ana Gabriela. Are you ready, Ana? Yes. Okay. Um, yes. How good are you at playing soccer, Ana? I'm not so good. Oh, that is a great I'm answer. Good. Thank you. Second question How often do you cook? Okay. Uh, I usually no usually cook at uh dinner. Okay, I usually cook at dinner. Okay, that is a very answer. Thank you so much. Very good. Maria Magdalena, uh, how often do you go shopping? Mm, maybe twice a week. Okay, that is excellent. Now, next question. How good are you at English? 
Mm, I think um good, maybe, yeah. Ah, yes, you are, right? Don't hesitate about that. You are doing a great job in this class. Thank you, Maria Magdalena, Thanks. for your answer. Let's go with Abel. Abel, how good are you at playing uh, ping pong? That's not good. Okay, that is excellent. Messi, Next question. I'm ready to go how often do you visit your grandparents? I sometimes visit my grandparents. Okay, excellent answer. Thank you so much. So very easy question, can you see? So no question about how to use this four question using how. If you don't have any doubts, so let's start with tonight topic, right? For tonight topic, we are going to start with section number two, and it has to do with question in simple past tense. So here we go. Let me share with you the presentation for tonight. I am sharing with you the presentation. Can you already see it? Can you confirm that, please? Yes, teacher. Yes, oh. teacher. Thank you so much. So welcome to the class number three. And for today, we're going to have this topic. We had a great time. So this is the lesson objective for tonight. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions about activities you did the last weekend. So what do you usually do on weekends? What are your activities on weekend? Can you tell me some of them? What do you do on weekends? And just Sometimes. Tell me, uh, tell me, Jose, please. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I hang out with my friends. And I usually walk in the park with my with my girlfriend. Oh, um, and go out with my family. And okay, those are very the... interesting activities, right? So I walk <laughs> on the park. I go out with my friends, and I go out with my family. Thank you so much. So let's see. Kevin, what do you usually do on weekends? What are your activities on weekends? Uh, uno sería, um, uh, me too, uh, go out with, with the family, uh, run, uh, running, um uh, uh, sleep sleeping sleeping for for the afternoons uh go to the go to the um co como se dice iglesia teacher sh sheer church oh, oh. Church, church. Church. Uh -huh. church um go 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 to go to to the um como se dice también este centro comercial shopping shopping center uh, shopping mall yeah uh, shop shopping mall okay that is great thank you very good activities right so sleep that is great right to rest a lot during the weekend if you can time do it right to get energy for the next week, right? So that is great. So probably you do these activities on weekend, probably, right? Probably watch TV, play a sport, in this case, play basketball, go shopping or go to the shopping mall, listen to music and cook. Which of these activities do you do on weekends? What is the ASC as in the fin of the semana? Which one? Tell me. Uh, let's see. Um, Maria Magdalena, which of these activities do you do on weekends? I listen to music, 
when I go, when I cooking or like um, wash the dishes or maybe make a laundry. Okay, when you do the laundry, do the laundry. When you do the laundry, okay, you listen ah, okay. to the music. Okay, yeah. that is excellent. Thank you. Now let's see in past, right? These activities in past are in this way, right? Cooked, when shopping, watch TV, listen to music, play basketball. Um, here is a mistake. The simple past of watch, it is no watching, right? This is the year. Let me fix it. Just a second. What is with ED, right? So let's fix this in this moment. Watch TV. This is in simple pass. Now it is okay here. Okay, then we have these activities in simple pass, right? Last weekend activities. I cook, I went shopping, I watch TV, I play basketball, I listen to music. So let's see the next activities, right? Uh, probably you did this activity the last weekend. Work, go out with friends, stay home, quedarse en casa, study, or did homework, and did the dishes. ¿Cuáles de estas actividades hizo el fin de semana pasado? Which one did you do? Let's see, Jose Daniel. Yes, teacher. Which of these activities did you do last weekend? ¿Hizo alguna de estas actividades el fin de pasado? Eh, yes, eh, I, I wrote a letter. I think it's right, brother. Yes, it's okay. The sentence is excellent. I, I, I went with my friend to eat in the restaurant. And that's it. Okay, excellent. So let's see in past how you say these activities in simple past. Here you can see worked. I worked on weekends. I stay at home on weekend. I did the dishes. I ate out. And I studied. So, no, simple past, right? Uh, in pasado simple. So let's see the, the activities for cooked, went shopping, watched TV, played basketball, listened to music. And then we have this one worked, uh, stay home, did the dishes, studied, and a out. So keep in mind these activities, please. We are going to use it later. So now let's see, did you do anything special? Let's listen to this small conversation about the last weekend activities of these people, Rick and Meg. So let's listen it. Okay, here we go. Now it is ready. Did you do anything special? So what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and... I'm sorry, I interrupted this. Study for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. What happened in this conversation? Anybody wants to tell me? But before you tell me what happened in this conversation, is it a new word, a new phrase in this conversation that you don't know? I went to the karaoke. Fueron a, 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 al karaoke. Yes, I went to a karaoke bar. 
It's a bar when you can sing, right? Karaoke. And sang with some friends. Yes, y cantamos con algunos amigos on Saturday. And Meg forget the exam. Oh, yes, right. Meg mm -hmm. has a, a very nice weekend that she forgot about the test, right? She had an Spanish test on that day and she forgot all about that. So, a que no les pase, ¿verdad? Que no se les olviden los ejercicios de la plataforma por andar paseando el fin de semana. You have to solve those exercises. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? Lucky's is the name of a bar, right? They, that they used to go. No, we didn't. We went to that new place and town. Fuimos a ese lugar nuevo en el centro de la ciudad. How about you? Did you go anywhere? ¿Qué hay de ti? ¿Fuiste a algún lugar? And Rick answered, no, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. No fui a ningún lugar. Anywhere es ningún lugar. Todo el fin de semana. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish days. Me quedé en casa y estudié para el examen. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an eight. So she is so intelligent, right? Um, questions about this conversation? Um, just um, pay attention to the question. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? So you say, I have a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. So she lists the activities that she do, right? The, that she did, sorry, that, did, that she did in the last weekend. So uh, two volunteers to practice in this conversation. Yes, two volunteers. Who wants to participate tonight? Who wants to practice? Me. This is me, teacher. Um, me. Okay. I hear Aida, right? Yes. Aida and Abel. Am Jose, I right? Jose or Abel? Uh, let's start with Abel. Is it okay? And then we're going to listen to Jose. Uh, thank you, Aida. So, Aida, you are Meg. And Abel, you are going to read to read Rick part. Can you please start? Okay. Help me with this, okay. please. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to the karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to the lunches? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere for the weekend. I just stay home and study for today's Spanish test. Oh, Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an uh, A. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, very good pronunciation. Thank you, both of you. You did a great job in this exercise. And the last two volunteers are uh, Jose. Uh, do you want? But it was Jose Blanco or it was Jose Daniel? Who wanted? Quien quería oh, participar? Okay. Um, me? Ah, okay, Jose Blanco. Very good. Any other volunteer to practice with Jose Blanco? Any other volunteer? Anybody? Any brave person who. Manager. Okay, thank you, Jose Daniel. So we have Daniel and Jose. So, Jose, can you please read Rick part? And Daniel, can you please read Max part, please? Okay. So what did you do last weekend, Matt? Daniel? Oh, sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, so, oh. Sorry, no le escuché, teacher. 
Ah, le toca la parte de Mex. Ah, ok. A Rick, no le escuché, perdón. Ok, eh... Si quiere comienza al principio. Ok, I will repeat. Uh, so what did you do last weekend, Matt? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturdays. That sounds like fun. Uh, did you go to Loki? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go. Uh, no, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. Uh, I just stayed at home uh, and study for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an you always get a A. Excellent. Thanks so much. I appreciate your help in this exercise. You did a great job. Thank you. Then let's continue did with this. Did you do anything special? Uh, so grammar focus, simple pass. Look at the following question. Did you work on Saturday and did you go anywhere last weekend? We can read these two questions in in the conversation, right? So did you work on Saturday? Did you go anywhere last weekend? These are yes, no question, right? So you have to also to answer this. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't, right? Um, the long answer is yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? You say, yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. So question is simple, past tense. So you, you have these two options to answer. That is a close question, right? You say that. En español le decimos pregunta cerrada, porque solo tienen dos opciones, yes or not. In English, they are called yes, no questions. Now we have this information question. What did Rick do on Saturday? Now we can't answer yes, right? No, we need to give information to answer this type of question. So what did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. So we need to get information right, about uh, the activities that this person did during the last weekend. So let's listen these sentences. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Do you have any question nowadays? Let's continue learning then if you don't have questions. Simple past. Okay, simple past, just no question. This is the structure that we need to follow in order to make this type of questions. So we have did plus subject plus the verb plus a complement plus the question mark. So we are going to follow this structure always, right? To make a question, a yes, no question in simple past. So let's see some examples. Did you clean your house last weekend? Did he stay at home last weekend? Did she go to the movies last weekend? Did it play with the ball last weekend? Did we study English last weekend? Did they watch a movie last weekend? So look at this example. So we have did at the beginning of the sentence. And then we have the subject, you, he, she, it, we, and they. After that, we need to write the verb. In these examples, clean, stay, go, play, study, and watch. And the rest of the, set, the question is the complement. And at the end, the question mark. So we always, we are going to follow this structure. So keep in mind, please. Did you clean your house last weekend? What is a good answer for this question? Did you clean your house last weekend? 
Then you say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Second one, did he stay at home last weekend? So you say, yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did she go to the movies last weekend? No, she didn't, or yes, she did. Did it play with the ball last weekend? We are talking about a cat or about a dog, right? It is a pronoun for animal and for things. So did it play with the ball last weekend? So you say, yes, it did, or no, it didn't. Did we study in this last weekend? Yes, we did, or no, we didn't. Did they watch a movie last weekend? Then you say, yes, they did or no, they didn't. Then don't forget about this structure to make just no questions. Can you tell me in this exercise, please? We have here the, the question and the answers. Can you, can you match them, please? Let's say, for example, did you clean your house last weekend? What is the right answer? The two possible answers for this question. And then we have the short answer on that. Yes, I think. Which letter? F. F, so you say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, but you are right. That is the right possible answers for the first question. What about the second one? Did he stay home last weekend? Yes, he did. Yes, he did, right? Uh, or no, he didn't. Thank you. So letter E, the answer. Let's see, number three. Did she go to the movies last weekend? No, she didn't. Then we have no, she didn't. Or yes, she did. Thank you. Let's see, number four. Did it play with the ball last weekend? Yes, it did. Yes, or, it did. Or no, it didn't. No, I, no, I didn't. No, there perdón. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Thank you so much. Let's see number five. Did we study English last weekend? Yeah, yes, we did. Or no, we, we didn't. Thank you so much. And finally, we have day. Did they watch a movie last weekend? Yes, I did. Mm. Or no, they didn't. Okay, yes, they did. No, they didn't. Those are the possible answers. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now let's answer this question. What did you do last weekend? Tell me at least um, two activities, right, that you did last weekend. Let's start with Aida Marisol. What did you do last weekend, Aida? I am staying home. I stay home. Thank you. No, I... no, salí. Okay. okay, that is great. I stayed home. That is a good answer. Yeah, at home. What did you do at home? Uh, did Did you listen to music? No, I watching TV. Okay, so you say no, I didn't, but I watched TV. Very no, good. I didn't. I watched on TV. Watched. Watch TV. Watched watch TV. Okay. Thank you. En pasado, el verbo watch se pronuncia con una T al final. Watch. I watched TV. I watched TV. Okay. okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Ida. Then let's go with, let me see, let me... Flor Ramos. What did you do last weekend, Flor? Perdón, es que voy manejando. No entendí. Ah, okay, don't worry. Just be careful. Don't worry. Eh, when... we, are going, we are going to choose another when... person. So don't worry. Just be careful. While driving, eh, let me see. Wait. Ana Gabriela, can you tell me what did you do last weekend, Ana? Okay, um, I stay at home 
and rest with my daughter. And I did the washes and I finished uh, my house. Okay, very good. I stay home. I rested with my daughter. I did the dishes and I cleaned my house. Okay, that is great. Great activities. Maria Magdalena, what did you do last weekend? Maria Magdalena, what did you do last weekend? Can you help me answering this question? I watched TV. I studied at home. Mm, I played basketball, did the dishes, mm, and many things. I cooked them, too. Okay, and after, excellent. I went to shop. <laughs> oh, you went shopping, too. That is excellent. Yeah. Thank you. You did a lot of activities last weekend. That is great. Now, what did he do last weekend? Anybody can tell me what are the possible answers for this question? What did he do last weekend? Then we start the answer. He, but he, he played soccer, he danced. What did he do last weekend? Let's repeat this question. Wait. What did he do last weekend? Uh, what did we do last weekend? What did they do last weekend? So let's see this question. What did he do last weekend? So we start with he, right? Um, acerca de él, que hizo él. It could be your husband, your best friend, your cousin. What did he do last weekend? So probably your pet, right? What did we do last weekend? Nosotros, que hicimos? And what did they do last weekend? Que hicieron ellos el fin de pasado. So now I have these activities. Now you have to tell me um, sentences, complete sentences using these pictures. So let's see, let's start with this. Watch TV. So you say, I watch TV or I didn't watch TV. Any, anyone, any volunteer to say sentences about this picture? Did you do this activity last weekend? Did you watch TV? Okay, Kevin, let's Hi. start with you. Hello, yeah. Okay. Um, in, in, in my last weekend, uh, I, went, I went to the beach uh, with my family and I went to the church too and, and me, uh, I watch I watch uh, TV and series uh, the the Sunday uh, 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 the afternoon on on Sunday. Thank you so much. So he watched TV. He watched TV. Very good job. Thank you, Kevin. And he did a lot of activities too. Very good answer. Thank you. So let's see. Abigail can answer today. Jose Daniel, did you watch TV last weekend? Yes, I watched TV with my family and my girlfriend. Excellent answer. Thank you. Let's change the activity. Did you play basketball? Jose Blanco, did you play basketball last weekend? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't teach you. Thank you so much. Joanna Maria, did you play basketball last weekend? No, I didn't. Aida Marisol, did you play basketball last weekend? No, I didn't. Okay, excellent. Our Maria Magdalena, can you please ask your classmates if they uh, go shopping last weekend? Uh, they didn't. You are going to ask the question. Usted le va a preguntar a sus compañeros. Okay. Let's start with Maria. Can you please ask to Abel si fue de compras el fin de semana? Uh, 
Hi, Abel. Did you want to go shopping on Saturday? Hello? Yes, I did. Okay, I thank you. Thank you. I went shopping, sorry. I went shopping. Okay, that is the sentence. So, Maria Magdalena, can you please repeat the question? Did you went shopping on Saturday? Mm, almost perfect. So it's, did you go? Did you go shopping last Saturday? That is the question, right? And did you go? Um, because the simple past tense is in the auxiliary, did, right? So the verb is in infinity form, sin conjugar, sería go. Did you go shopping last Saturday? Excellent. Thank you. Thank now, you. Now let's see, Jose Daniel, can you ask to Ana Gabriela if she did the following activity? Jose Daniel, can you ask the question to to Ana Gabriela, please? Yeah. Ana Gabriela, did you play uh, did you play music yesterday? Listen. Yes. Listen. Uh, Ana Gabriela, did you, did you listen uh, music yesterday? Mm, yes, I did. I listened rock music. Ok, excelente. En el caso de listen, en esa expresión siempre va con tú. Did you listen to music? Did you listen to music okay. last weekend? And then you say, yes, yes I, I listen to rock I music. Ah, ok. Ok, siempre okay. decimos el tú, ¿verdad? Listen to music. Listen. Ok, listen okay, to me. Ok, excelente. Listen to me. Ok, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. So that is the question. Flor Ramos, did you cook a chicken last weekend? Flor, did you cook chicken last weekend? Um, she must be busy or she must have some problem with her microphone. So let's go with Kevin. Kevin, did you cook chicken last weekend? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't. Very good. Thank you, Kevin, for your answer. And let's go with the next. Um, Let's see. Did they stay home last weekend? Look at the picture and answer the questions. Did they stay home at weekend? Yes, they did or no, they didn't. What is the right answer? Did they stay home last weekend? No, they didn't. Excellent answer. No, they didn't. Uh, did they went to the mountain? Did they go, sorry, did they go to the mountain? No, they, so they didn't. didn't. No, they didn't. They went to a restaurant. Uh, they went to a restaurant. Let's see. Did he stay home? Yes, he did. Yes, they did. Yes, he 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 did. Let's see. Did he study last weekend? Did he um, study last weekend? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he, yes, he, did. Yes, he did. And did you do the dishes last weekend? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, you say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Very good. So do you have any question about how to make questions in simple past ten? We have two types of questions, right? Yes, no question and information questions. And for the next practice, you are going to answer this question. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? 
So you have to tell me at least uh, five activities that you did last weekend. So you say, for example, what did you do last weekend? And you say, I watched a soccer game on TV. Or I watched TV. I washed my car. I walked in the park. I went shopping. I cooked. I cleaned my house. I played video games. I played soccer. I played basketball. I stayed home. I went to the beach. So five activities. Is it okay? So I will give you one minute for you to get ready. You have to tell me five activities. What did you do last weekend? You have to, you have one minute. So this is the last activity for today. So everybody is going to tell me five activities answering this question. What did you do last weekend? Thirty seconds. You still have thirty seconds to get ready. Anybody is ready? I went to the carnival. Excellent sentences. Aida, you had one. Very good. I went to the carnival. It's great. Ya lleva una y le quedan cuatro. Very good job. Um, we have to say the five. Yes, the five. Five activities. And first of all, I went, I went out with my mom to buy shoes. Then I visited my girlfriend. And we went to eat a restaurant. And I went out with my friend to a bar. And finally, I drank a beer. Okay, nice. You had six sentences. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Say, Daniel. That was great. Any other volunteer, tell me what did you do last weekend? You have to tell me five activities. I have a WhatsApp message just in a second. Mm, no, it is not from the group. Um, anybody is ready? Jose Daniel has already said he is as five sentences. Anybody? I went to the discotheque. That is another good sentence, Aida. You have to. I'm going to take note here, Aida. You have two seconds. Uh, I go to the supermarket. Uh, in simple past, I went. I went to the supermarket. I went to the supermarket. Now you have three sentences. Okay, Jose Daniel, can you please choose one of your classmates, please? Jose Daniel, tell me the name of one of your classmates, except Abigail, right? She told me that she, she couldn't participate today. Uh, Kevin Eduardo? Okay, Kevin. Oh. Kevin, tell me, what did you do last weekend, Kevin? Uh, again, and I went to... I went to go to, to the beach be, with, with my family. I went to to running in the park with my friend. And I went to I went to go to the church with my family too. And I watched uh TV and series in the afternoon and um and 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 sleeps yeah yes you had five sentences thank you kevin no, I, was, I, said, I went to the church i went to visit my family 
I watch TV series and I sleep. Sleep is the simple pass of sleep. I sleep. Thank you so much. Very good sentences. Uh, Kevin, tell me the name of one of your classmates, please. We have Abel, Ana, Joana, Flor, Jose, Xiomara, and Aida. Tell me. Um, let me see. Um, Joana. Thank you so much. Joana Maria, what did you do last weekend? I went to the university. I went to the gym, I watch TV, I cook, I stay at home. Okay, thank you very much. It's five good sentences. Thank you, that was excellent, Joanna. Congratulations. Joanna, tell me the name of one of your classmates. We have Jose Blanco, Flor Ramos, Ana Gabriela, Maria Magdalena, Abel, Aida and Xiomara. Aida? Aida, thank you so much. So Aida, can you please tell me what did you do last weekend? I went to the carnival. I went to the supermarket. I went to the, ball, the, the bowling. Bowling, yes. I one, two, three, four, five. You had four. One more. Remember? Just one, one more. more. Supermarket. One more. Oh, I went to the to the park. Excellent. Thank you, Aida. Tell me the name of one of your classmates. I still have Flor, Jose Blanco, Ana Gabriela, Maria Magdalena, and Abel. Abel? Abel, okay, Abel, tell me what did you do last weekend? I work in the restaurant. I study in the university too. I went to shopping. I listen to English music. I watch TV. And I visit my mother-in-law. Okay, thank you. Very good sentences. That was excellent. Uh, choose one of your classmates. I still have Ana Gabriela, Maria Magdalena, and Jose Blanco. Tell me, Abel. Gabriela. Ana Gabriela, Gabriela. okay. Ana, what okay. did you do last weekend? Uh, I went to the supermarket. I I visited uh, I visited I, I visited my brother at hospital and I did the dishes and I went to to eat eat a pupusas to Planet de Renderos. For art planet the rendero and I I stay at home. Thank you so much. Excellent sentences. Very good. You say six sentences. Thank you very much, Anna. So just one of your classmates. I still have Maria Magdalena and who's Joanna. Have you already participated? A Jose Blanco too. Um, Jose Blanco? Okay, Jose, can you tell me what did you do last weekend? Uh, okay, well, um, Saturday I went to visit my grandmother and I went to play soccer. I was listening to music. Uh, on Sunday I stayed at home in the morning. Uh, for the afternoon, for the afternoon uh, I went to dinner. Thank you so much. Excellent sentences. Well, Jose, Joanna, or oh... Maria Magdalena. Uh, Joanna. Joanna, are you there? Joan, yes. What did you do last weekend, Joanna? I went to the university. 
I go to the gym, I watch TV, I cook, and, and I stay at home. Excellent, thank you. And finally, we have Maria Magdalena. Can you tell me what did you do last weekend? Yes, uh, Saturday I worked. Uh, then I went to shopping. I watched TV. I did the laundry. And I stayed at home on Sunday. Thank you very much. Excellent sentences. So you did a great job in this activity. Thank you so much for your participation. Um, let's see. Um, el que vaya respondiendo se puede ir desconectando ya. Let's see. Did you wash your car last weekend? No, I didn't. Thank you so much. That is a great answer. See you tomorrow, Maria Magdalena. Bye-bye. The next question. Did you cook uh, lasagna last weekend? No, I didn't. Thank you, Ana Gabriela. Bye. See you next class. Bye. Did you play soccer? No, no. I didn't. Okay. I don't like it. This, I don't like it. <laughs> Ah, oh, you don't like soccer. I'm sorry to hear that. Soccer is the best sport ever, right? No, 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 no. I love it. The basketball is better. <laughs> okay, okay, Kevin. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, I'm sorry. for sure. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Let's mm, see the next question. Did you clean your house last weekend? Yes, I did. Ah, oh, Jose Daniel, bye bye. See you next class. Let's see. Did you study English last weekend? Yes. No, I, I didn't. Yes, I did. Okay, Jose Blanco, Aida Marisol, bye bye. Did you Thank watch you. a movie last weekend? Yes, I did. Oh, thank you so much, Joanna. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good night. And the last question. Did you speak in English last weekend? Did you speak in English last weekend? A ver. No, I didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Thank you so much. Well, uh, Flor and Xiomara, bye-bye. See you next class. Bye-bye, Abel. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Hey, bye. See you. Bye. -bye. See you.